We turn now to a fresh look at Abraham Lincoln, our nation's 16th president. Of course, freed the slaves and saved the Union, but Lincoln was more complex than his political acts and his place in history. Pulitzer Prize-winning historian John Meacham takes a closer look at his leadership and why he did what he did in his new book, And There Was Light, Abraham Lincoln and the American Struggle. Hi, John. Good morning Hi, to you. Thank you. You know, when a historian takes on Lincoln, <laughs> that's a tough proposition. You've got to think, well, gosh, everything's had to have been seen, investigated, written, but you have a new take on Lincoln. My view is that if we're going to overcome the divisions of our own time, we need to be in conversation with someone who overcame the divisions of his. Mm. And Lincoln bent the arc of the universe toward justice. Not perfectly, but he confronted a wrong, he helped make it right, and he left us a union that we could then work to make more perfect. It's interesting because it's easy to lionize Lincoln and yeah. for good reasons. But you say we have to look him in the eye. Right. He was neither a saint nor totally a sinner, but something in between. He was human. Right. He was human. He was he suffered from depression. He lo he and Mary lost two children. He had a very difficult marriage. He's killed at the prime uh, shot in the head at Ford's Theater. And yet this complicated figure helped free a people helped make democracy actually live into its promise. And, you know, if we want only saints to be in power, we're going to be disappointed because there just aren't enough of them. And my view is that if Lincoln could, could transcend the limitations of his own time, then we can too. You write that he was, of course, the great emancipator and was known for that, but was not, and I think these are your words, a racial egalitarian. Right. So we have to look... You know, we have to look directly at what he did and what he believed. He was not Martin Luther King in a stovepipe hat, but he was someone who believed that the Declaration of Independence meant what it said. And for our own time, that's vital. If we are not in tune with the Declaration, if I don't respect your equality and your dignity, you're not going to have any much of a reason to respect mine. That's what democracy is. It's give and take when human nature just wants to take. And Lincoln embodied this spirit that, in fact, you lend a hand partly because you might need a hand. You know, we study history because, of course, it's relevance to our current times. And, John, I always like talking to historians because often they make me feel better about the times we're in. They say, well, it wasn't as bad as back then. <laughs> right. But, I mean, when you look at the divisions that are present right now in our country, a lot of people do talk about the 1850s yeah. and the Civil War and the, and the fears of violence and division. And do you see parallels to those times? Tragically, yes. Mm. But, you know, history is human nature. History is not a fairy tale. There was not a once upon a time, and there's not going to be a happily ever after. This is on us. It was on Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass and that generation. It's on us. It's a stress test for citizenship. And by being in conversation with the past, we can see how fallen, frail, fallible sinners could actually do some saintly things. Mm. Not all saintly, but just enough to get us forward. Well, and I'm confident we can do that. I hope we do call on our better angels. Right. John, thank you very much. Again, the book is called And There Was Light. And you can learn more about it on our website, today.com slash shop. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.